Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dude with a Microscope. Today, we're going to be taking a very close look at pollen. You've probably heard of pollen. Now, a flower's purpose, its job, its reason for being is to make seeds. And to make seeds, they need pollen, little grains, to start that process. Now, we're going to be looking at pollen from a blue bonnet, the much beloved state flower of my home state of Texas. Many places have lupines, which are very closely related. A blue bonnet and a lupine is actually a stack of little flowers called florets. Each floret looks like a little basketball goal. There's a backboard, standing up straight, and there's even a little white square on that as kind of a target. And where the basket would be, you have two petals that clasp together like your hands when you've caught a lightning bug or a firefly. Now, these are called the wing petals. And if you do a little kind of slam dunk right there and push them down, you will see something inside that looks a bit like a cow horn. Now, if you look very closely at the tip, can you see that orange stuff there? Okay, that is pollen. Now, as you probably know, bees collect pollen and nectar from flowers. Watch this bee. It lands on the wing petals, and its weight pushes those down, kind of like we did the slam dunk. It grabs that pollen, and it pushes it into pockets on its back legs, and then it buzzes off to get some more pollen from another flower. But I want this blue bonnet to be able to make some seeds for next year, so I'm just going to take one florette. I'm not really harming the flower. We're going to do this so that we can see some pollen a whole lot closer. Here we are at about 10x or 10 times magnification. You can see the pollen peeking out from two mostly black petals that make that horn thing I was talking about. It's actually called the keel. Here I've removed a bit of those black keel petals. And when we go up to 20 to 30x, you can actually see the individual grains of pollen. See what I'm talking about? Now pollen is produced by stamens. And stamens are made of a stalk called a filament and an anther. The anther is what actually produces the pollen. The pollen needs to get to this structure here called a stigma. As bees go from flower to flower, some of the pollen that's stuck on their body is going to brush off. And if it gets right there to the tip of that stigma, that's when you really get the seed making process started. This is called pollination. Now we're going to take a look at the pollen through the compound microscope. This one picks up at about 40x, which is where this one leaves off. And it can take us up to 100 or even 400x. Here are some pollen grains on the anther. And here we see the pollen grains by themselves. They kind of look like golden beans, right? Kind of cool looking. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our little microscopic journey into a blue bonnet to check out the pollen. If you've got more stuff you want to see, of course, just leave it in the comments section below and I will see what I can do. Like I said, I've got several videos about pollination, so if you want to know more about that process, click on one of these videos around me and you will learn in a hopefully fun way. Thanks so much for visiting and watching my video. We'll see you next time on Dude with a Microscope.